Hi everyone, welcome to Talks on Web.com. Today I'm going to talk about a very helpful plugin. Um, it's going to reduce the amount of HTML you write significantly, and it's also going to save you a whole lot of time. Uh, I've been in the web development field for a while, and having to create forms which require like seven fields and have all these attributes, it takes up time and effort in typing all this stuff out. So let me show you exactly what this plugin does instead of describing it. Maybe you, you can find out if it's useful for you or not. The plugin is actually called Zen Coding. And I show you how to install this into your development editor in a separate video that I'm creating after this one. And so you can look at that. So here we have a blank page. And let's say I want to create an HTML of 5. I type that out, hit my shortcut key, and boom. Here's my HTML5 doc type, the HTML. Uh, element, the head, the title, all those things are given to me right away. What if I wanted to create an HTML of strict doc type? Here's the doc type, and here's a strict, here's a strict doc type, and all the other elements that I need, and within seconds. Now, that's really not that powerful because some editors already give you this by default uh, through the UI. I know Dreamweaver does. So, what if? How is this really helpful? Again, you don't have to memorize the syntax I'm writing. This is just to show you the power of it. I'm creating a form with a type post, and I'm telling it to create a table inside of that form with three rows, and each column, the first column, should have the label, label uh, element inside of it, and the second column is going to have an input text field. This one line of code, watch what it creates. It created a form element with a table inside of it which has about three rows and each row has a column with a label element inside of it and the second column has the input text field field inside of it and I did all of this with one line imagine having to type this out and I mean I remember having to type all that out but with just however with one line I was able to get all that done so that's part of the power that's behind it I'm going to be going over all the shortcut keys that are useful in the Zen coding plugin, and uh, hopefully you'll find that useful. So, uh, before I get into this, uh, when you go to talksonweb.com and go to the miscellaneous section, and then go to the article that says Reduce Development Time with Zen Plugin, I'm showing you this because all the shortcuts that I'm telling you, you can easily find on this article. So, if you ever need a reference, you can come back here. Or you can just view this video again. So without any further ado, let's go one by one to each one of these things. And we'll start with the HTML basics. I'm going to clear this out. And I'm going to type HTML. Since I want the whole, since I want the whole HTML um, structure, first I type HTML, then the colon. And I tell it what type of HTML I want. If I want a strict doc type, I'll type in XS. And then I'll hit my the default shortcut for the Zen coding abbreviation is control E but for me it's control G a reason being was that uh, my shortcut control E was conflicting with another shortcut that I already had in my development editor if you're having a similar problem where you're hitting control E and you're not, you're not getting output uh, please watch the video on how to install Zen coding plugin that I've created I'm gonna be creating excuse me and um, I address that towards the end of the video so you can figure that out as well now so HTML colon either you type in excess or you type in 5 and you hit your shortcut and you get this one more important note uh, thing to point out here is if I have my cursor let's say towards in the middle or at the beginning here's what happens if I hit my shortcut key it's all distorted so you need to make sure your cursor is at, is at the very end when you hit the shortcut key and that's when you get this output okay now if you're wondering how to create the other type of doc types I'm gonna have a shortcut keys uh, type list on the web page that I just showed you on talks on uh, now I'm gonna move on to the next part of this is how to create a simple table with one row and one column so I type in table and put the plus sign there okay and now I hit the shortcut key 
either you can use the default control E shortcut or control G which is the one I, one I assigned anyway so here's the table created for me let's say I wanted to create an unordered list with one list item I put the same syntax here UL and then the plus sign and I get the same output so now let's move a step further and move on to divs let's see what they have to offer so I can say div control G and I get this now what if I wanted to assign a class next to the div I could and I want to say menu menus well I can do that by saying div dot menus soups notice I put the dot there in CSS syntax that's how we define a class selector if I wanted to have the div give the div an ID I would just put the hash symbol there same as I would in CSS the hash symbol indicates an ID selector I put my cursor at the end and I hit control E and I have a div with an ID now let me just move back to my tutorial so I'll, you don't have to skip around the video to find exactly what you're looking for we created the table simple and we've created an unordered list now we're going to create the CSS and the JavaScript tags so let's say you're in the middle about right here after the title now all you have to do is write script and then hit your shortcut key control E and you get the script inline script tag so you can write the JavaScript out right here okay but if you don't want that and you want the whole linking to a file which is a proper web development way to go you write down script give it a colon and write down src as in source and there you have it you get a script tag with a source attribute let's say I want the CSS link tag I write down link hit control E and again I get the link element with the hyperlink reference attribute where you can easily define the file okay the next item is creating a div with an ID and class we already did that and the same thing applies to tables as well let's say if I'm here and I say I want a let's say an ordered list with mm, actually I'll, I'm gonna be jumping ahead if I do that I'm gonna go to this one which is nesting elements and after nesting elements the whole assigning class to table rows and columns is gonna make much more sense so how do you nest an element inside of another one let's say I wanted a div with a sub div or if I wanted to put div inside of a table how do I do that well that's where nesting comes in let's say if I have the main div I'll give it the ID selector of main div and I want to place a div inside of this one or place uh, let's say an ordered list inside of it I would use this particular greater than sign this symbol tells the plugin that whatever is going to come after it is going to be a child element of this so place it inside of this uh, element that's before it so I can easily say well create a div and give it the class sub div now since my cursor is at the very end I hit control G and I have a main div and a sub div again take a look at the syntax all I did was create a div assign it the ID main div and then I gave the greater than symbol uh, oops this symbol right here is telling the plugin whatever is going to come after it is a child of the one before it so let's do the same thing with tables now table alone I didn't say table plus table alone is telling it that I just want the table element so that's what it gives me after that I'm going to use the greater than sign and say whatever comes after it is going to be a child of it so table rows if I hit control E at this time I get table with table rows nested inside and then I'm going to say give me a table column inside of that one and inside of that place a div saying with a class saying uh, nested div again cursor is at the very end I hit control E and I get a table a row nest inside of it, a column nest inside of that, and at the very end, a div with a class nested div. Okay? Now I'm going to add uh, one more thing to this. 
and I'll update my web page. Let's say I wanted to add some text within this div. How do I do that? Well, I can do that by saying paragraph. Uh, so I say nest an element in this, which is the paragraph element P. And then, then I use the braces. And inside the braces, I can define text saying uh, this is some sample text dot move my cursor at the very end and then I hit control E and what you'll see is a div with a paragraph element inside of it and then some actual text so you see the power that's behind this now I'm gonna move on to the next step which is multiplication feature so up until um, uh, <laughs> excuse me up until this point uh, we've been able to create a table we've been able to nest elements inside of other elements and it's been very useful to us but what if you wanted a table uh, what if you wanted a table with three rows or four rows or a table with uh, three columns that's where the multiplication operator comes in uh, we write down table and we tell them that we want let's say a table row inside of it but we want three table rows so we write down the multiplication operator and then we put the number three after it now if I hit control G it gives me a table with three rows inside of it so that's what this multiplication operator does and uh, let's go ahead and say multiplication two rows and let's have two columns inside of it so we created a table nested it rows inside of it using the greater than sign and said we want using the multiplication operator we said we want two rows and then we nested a column inside of it saying we want two columns using the multiplication operator yeah. this guy now I'm gonna move my cursor at the very end and I'm gonna say control E and I get a table with two rows and two columns in each one uh, now in part two of the video I'm gonna take this even a step further and show you uh, the real power of combining all these features plus more so if you were just looking for the very basics this is it but if you're looking to really enhance your skill like I showed in the beginning where you're creating forms and uh, the form has columns and labels and all these other things and as well as creating your own shortcuts or even customizing your own uh, uh, control E key that's where the other videos come in so hang on and uh, I'll see you in the next video.